So welcome back. In this lesson, uh, we're going to make some adjustments to our bottle opener here because it didn't work exactly how I wanted. Um, so let's go ahead and select our object and we'll just take our penny here. And since it's parented, we can just grab it and move it up or kind of move it back into our um, ge geometry or into our design um, to better fit what we're trying to do. So one thing I noticed is that it just didn't uh, grip the bottle cap. So I'm going to lower it a little bit and raise up this part of the penny just like that and give it a little bit more uh, plastic underneath the penny. That way it's a little thicker and it doesn't break as easy. So I could even drop it in a little deeper if I wanted to, uh, but I do want to be able to grab the bottom of the cap here. So the cool thing is that we've got our our penny cut, our penny, you know, our penny buck our penny box cutter um, parented to the penny. So no matter where we put the penny, the hole is going to follow, which is fantastic. So that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. We've got a tighter grip on the cap here now. Next thing I want to do is maybe like make his tail um, taper. So it's more like a, like a shark body. So I think that would be funny. Um, the only thing is it's going to pop out our penny but I kind of like the design that it's showing here so maybe we'll uh, leave that and uh, you know just uh, have it where you can see part of the penny kind of showing through here I think that could add just a almost like it's its fin or something so I'm happy with that um, overall and it's looking pretty cool so let's just turn off our bottle reference and that's looking pretty good so it's always good to just look around your object making sure you um, you know see it from every angle before you export it or print it just so you know um, you know if it's looking like what you want and now I'm going to take it into edit mode and I may want to add an eyeball here so I'm just going to move right click so I'm just going to shift right click to move my 3d cursor and let's add a cube uh, to the eye and notice that I accidentally did this in edit mode so it actually added the cube to the bottle opener or the the body of the the opener here so instead let's undo that go into object mode and now create the object that way it'll be a separate object um, and not part of the fish body so I'm just gonna squeeze it down a little bit I'm just trying to kind of just make an eyeball here maybe even do a loop cut just right there and then let's select the top and the two side faces and just scale them down on the Z. And that's going to give us kind of like an eyeball shape. And then we'll just select all and then just rotate it on the X axis. And, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Ha <laughs> pun intended. And we're going to subtract this from our, you know, our bottle opener, our shark body. So now we're in object mode. Let's add a mirror modifier and put the mirror object as the actual bottle opener. And there we go. We've got an eye on both sides. And now we can just click on one of the eyes, shift click on the body and control minus. And there we go. Now we've got some little tiny details, you know, just some eyeballs like the shark has eyes and a fin and a little tail. And I think that's just going to make it way cuter. Uh, a little more tricky to print, but I think it's going to be worth it. And, you know, really just have fun with your designs and make them however you want. You know, that's the whole point of 3D print design is custom design. So let's go ahead and export this. Find a folder of your choice. And let's export. So I'm just going to bring the new updated bottle opener into Prusa Slicer and get ready to slice it on up. So this is looking pretty good but let's go ahead and 3d print this on its side um, I could you know print it like this with some ports to keep the the penny hole pretty level you know since it's flat right there uh, but instead I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees on the side so that it can just print up but we need to add some support material and I only want support material on certain parts because that's just too much you know it's gonna be kind of tricky to get all the supports um, out of that. Also inside of the penny slot, there's gonna be supports, which I would have to uh, pick out, uh, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, bypass this and print the shark keychain on the side. So instead let's select the model and click on one of the sides to, uh, you know, flip it to the side. And, and now we're gonna to need to add some custom supports on the fin uh, because again, the the software is trying to 
put slicing, trying to put supports everywhere on this model. So all we have to do is for support enforcers only, and then right click our object and do add support enforcer. And you can pick any one of these. I'm just gonna do box and put the box around the parts of the design that you want supports for. So notice if I just put it on the fin, we have supports on the fin, but we also need some on the little tail because it's way more steep than a 45 degree. It may print, but you know, just to help it out a little bit, let's add some supports right here. Again, just select the model, right click and add another support enforcer. We'll just do another box and put that on the tail, but we don't want it to interfere with the penny hole, you know, because I don't want any supports going inside of the penny hole. I just want it on the body of the fishtail. So I'm just going to put it right there and maybe just bring the uh, the body out because, you know, the tail still needs a little bit of support. So let's just stretch that out just a little bit. And you can mess with these uh, just like they're real objects and go into scale and just scale it, you know, go into go into scale and just click and drag these until it fits the entire body. And there we go. If we slice it up, now we've got everything, but we're getting some support material inside of the keychain hole, which could help, but you know, I don't want it there. So now we'll just shrink it here and then just bring it on down to the floor like that, just so we bypass the hole. And there we go. That's how you can do some custom supports um, for just specific parts of your design if you uh, want to get into that. So let's go ahead and slice it up and print that thing.